when we learned about Twitter, and then we went about, at this conference, we went about our conferencing, uh, one of us was sitting in this presentation, and there was this presenter that who was dynamic, energetic, and he is saying things that are helping me do my job, that are solving problems, and is answering questions that I came to this conference to answer. To answer. This is the reason I came to this conference. And so I start Twitter. This guy's great. This person is solving this problem, that problem. They're Twitter and all this season. And I don't know if we're all following each other on Twitter. So suddenly, up and down the halls of the conference, people are gathering their stuff up over the table. And they're dashing down the hall to get into this room where this person is solving their problems. It became a more valuable conference experience for us because through this subterranean conversation that's happening through Twitter, we are putting each other into places we need to be, ideas we need to consider. And this conversation continued on after the conference. But I get to learn when Jeff Mutek's uh, daughter falls and cuts her leg. I get to learn when uh, when uh, Brian Brete uh, uh, has insomnia, he can't get to sleep at one o'clock in the morning. I get to learn when David Bates is trying to wrap his mind around some blogging that was written by this teacher in Canada. And when I read that, what do I want to do? I'm going to read that blog. I'm going to read that blog that's got David Jakes, you know, so worked up. Uh, it is a professional learning tool for, for many of us. And, and, um, and what we got to talking about was what if we could do this in conferences? What if we could do this in a keynote? What if we could do this in, in a, a workshop? Somebody down here is Twittering right now. You know, she's having a conversation, I guess, with somebody. You're just twittering out things that I'm saying, or things that she's thinking. And, uh, you know, what if we could have sort of a conversation going on in here during the workshop, during the keynote, whatever, so that you have this subterranean version of the workshop going on, which is y'all making connections between your thoughts and what I'm talking about where y'all are asking questions about what I'm talking about, and somebody over here has the answer, okay? It's this subterranean version of the workshop. So, the problem is, we have to get all of y'all set up on Twitter, and we have to get all of y'all befriended each other, and, you know, it would be my time by the time we got that finished. So, a couple of years ago, I found a chat program on the internet, an open source chat program called um, Ajax Chat. And Ajax Chat, uh, I just knew that it was open source. I was able to go in and hack the code a little bit and basically make it act, behave like Twitter. So that when y'all, you should still be on this page right here, when y'all click knit, that's what I call my knit, we're knitting together ideas. Click knit, you'll come up with a page that looks like this. So you'll need to, to sign in with your name, so just type in your name. Uh, for the location, type in two letters that indicate where you're from. I'm put in NC, you put in NY or NJ or, or uh, uh, VA or whatever. And then click sign in. Now basically, let's say this signed in. Uh, here's the middle page, which is going to appear in the piece split. There we go. Now I'm going to type in a message. Um, let's see. I look forward to reading your conversation. And then I'm going to hit submit. And my message should appear right there, shoving the other one down. And it should also appear on all of your pages. Now it's running really slow right now for some reason. And I'm going to find some other things that are running slow uh, as well. But did it appear on those pages? It showed up. Okay. Now, what, what I'm going to ask y'all to do, you don't have to do this, but what I'm going to ask y'all to do is to just sort of, as, as, as things occur in here that resonate with you particularly deeply, either positively or negatively, as, as questions occur, and you don't want to interrupt me, put the question in, uh, as, as uh, other, other resources occur to you that you're familiar with that are the same as what I'm talking about, add it in. Um, when the workshop is over, I've got a link in there that I will click and it will take the transcript of your knitter conversation and automatically move it over to a wiki page. So, so when the workshop's over, you'll all, there'll be a link on the online handouts where you all go in and you can reread this conversation and being that it's a wiki page, you can go in and add stuff in. 
So I, that's what I'll do. I'll go ahead and read what you're what you you're asking, and if somebody poses a question that I didn't answer and I have an answer for it, then I'll insert that in. So basically, you're taking a conversation and you're turning it into a, a document. Does that make sense? And this is a personal learning network. I never, I've never ever done this that I didn't learn something from your conversation. 